Jane, again, sorry to sorry to again annoy you slightly, but have you heard of remote viewing? No. Okay, so remote viewing is is interesting. It was uh, it's something where a psychic attempts to view a remote or a target site and discern what's there. Okay, and, and the CIA actually looked into this, ran a whole bunch of experiments during the Cold War to see if they could use it for spying. I don't think it was that successful to be honest but anyway it's an interesting idea so um what i got here is something called remote viewing target set it's actually quite old you can see how, how um, doggy this is but what it actually is it's a set of photographs at various different locations weirdly both on and off the the earth so you've got uh, jasper park uh, canada which i don't really know but egypt which is a bit obvious i suppose rome let's see what else we got and um, paris uh, okay, Hong Kong. So literally, um, just a whole whole bunch of, of various different um, places from around the globe. Okay, so okay. here's here's what I'd like you to do with this: is basically take this in, in your hand and just kind of hold it like this, and then cut it somewhere and have a look at one picture. Okay, don't let me see it. Don't let. I mean, there's no one behind you anymore, but um, don't let me see it. And then just fold it back down, and then maybe put it back in the envelope. Actually, it, actually, yeah, do put it back in the envelope. Okay, so. I'll give you the pictures. Like I said, I'll look away. You, you just you just hinge one up and look at this. Okay, you got one? Yeah. Okay, fold the pictures back down. Fold the pictures right down. Put them inside the end. Okay. okay, so now the, the idea is, is to figure out which location that you're thinking of. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what I want you to do is just imagine any tall buildings or structures or um, things within that location. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're having a bit of trouble doing that. I can see that. Okay, so maybe focus on does it evoke any memories of maybe if 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 you've been there or you know somebody who's been there or anything else. Okay, this is maybe. Okay, I'm getting the sense that that it's a it's a very desolate place. It's not somewhere that you visited, obviously, and I think as well that it is probably Death Valley. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, guys. Okay, so the possessed card. Now, usually what happens is that, um, I'm just going to show you this quickly. But usually what happens is this card is picked uh, by somebody. Um, we won't bother with that for right now, but this will do. Any card will do. And then you basically take the card case and close that up. After you show that it's, it's kind of empty, there's nothing in there. And then you close that up and then you put the card on top of it. And you talk about the odd properties of this card and how if you stare at it, it looks like it's almost moving by itself. Yeah, I mean, it's a weird thing, isn't there's, there's nothing there particularly, but you know, and if you look at it very, very closely, it does seem to be almost like it's um, rotating all by itself. So this can, this can be handed out for examination. There's basically nothing to, to see or find. And there you go. Um, the possessed card.